Today's look is another Halloween look. I'm going for more of that robotic, kind of futuristic kind of look. And I was at a point where I was looking to Pinterest, trying to figure out ideas of what to do. And I came across this really cool picture, which I want to show you guys right now. It was just this awesome picture of a bunch of lions and like a robot girl. And I'm like, you know what? I could do this. It seems like it's easy. And it's something simple for people who probably don't want to get too crazy done up and still look good, have some wing liner and lashes on. This look is very easy, but also a little technical because it does require a steady hand. I did do a full face breakdown in my foundation and concealer, um, but mainly it's focusing on the liners and lines and getting it right. I have to admit, I was uh, shaking a little bit and there was parts where I was just like, dang, I went too thick, I did this and that. I recommend practicing a little bit if you do decide to do this look, but seriously, just get a wig and have fun with it. So if you guys like what you see, continue watching and let me know what you guys think. All right, so first thing we're gonna start off with is the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. This primer adds lots of glow all over the skin. It just makes it look really nice and radiant. It eliminates a lot of the dullness and just makes your skin glow from underneath. Now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay in the color 5.0. Gives you like the ultimate coverage. Really nice liquid foundation. I like wearing this for more extreme looks or whenever I just really want a beat. It also is waterproof and long wearing. Just gonna make sure I get this all over my face with the damp beauty blender. I love the black ones for foundations better than the pink ones. They're just a lot more softer and like marshmallow -y. Next, I'm gonna be taking in my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. You guys know this is my favorite concealer. It gives you just the ultimate coverage. So I'm pretty much just following my same highlight and contour routines because I do still want to brighten up my face. You guys know highlighting for your skin it does bring out the high points of your face. So any areas you really want to just stand out and be like the spotlight of your face is the areas that you're going to want to highlight. And now with the front of the Beauty Blender, the tip of it, we are going to take that in and just dab, 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 dab it all in. Pull it up a little bit into my brow, not entirely, but just a tad bit just to give it a slight bit of color up there. So now that my foundation and concealer is all put on, I'm going to set everything using Using two different powders. One is the Becca Multitasking Powder and the Laura Mercier Concealing Powder. Whoops, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is what I bake with. I love this. I love this combo together. It just makes the skin look flawless and just holds everything all day. So I'm taking in the Marc Jacobs Blush Brush and I'm just kind of using it for my powder instead. And I'm just going in circular motion. I feel like you don't even really need to set the um, this combo because it dries down really, really matte. So just to be safe. Oops. Just to be safe, I am going to set it because I have this like theory in my head that if I don't set, it's gonna crease, so let's just keep it on the safe side. All right, now the fun part, we are going to bake my under eyes. This is a part that I feel like really is life-changing, and if you are dry, however, just be careful with not letting it sit for too long. I think baking really just depends on your skin. Some people can bake for hours or five minutes. I can only bake for like three, four minutes tops, otherwise it just gets too dry on me. So now I'm gonna go back in with the 501 Morphe brush, and I'm gonna dust everything off. Um, just, it's not the much that I put on, but I'm just gonna dust off that Light layer just so there's nothing sitting on my skin no extra powder hanging on around there if you do something that's a little more like this it's a little too bulky so it might really sweep all of it off you just want to take off that first layer so now instead of doing my bronzer and highlighter I'm gonna actually spray a little bit of Mac fix plus onto my skin first this is just going to bond all the powder particles together to make my skin look like skin again it's going to make everything just look really nice and you know dewy and put together and um, there's a lot of great ingredients in here there's chamomile there's green tea there's glycerin so it's a lot of waking up the skin and doing all that good jazz to it before oh my god I can live in this stuff so I did this before too because I'm gonna apply a little bit of the highlight and I want the highlight to kind of pop out a little more instead of putting the highlight directly onto a powdered up skin um, by doing this and getting that skin effect back it's gonna sit on a nicer surface so I'm first gonna go in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey to highlight so I'm taking again the Morphe 501 brush I'm gonna go first I'm just gonna guide the application on I'm putting a lot on this is like straight highlight challenge right now on the middle of my nose and now with, again, the Marc Jacobs blush brush. I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm working off of like 10 brushes because I just packed all my stuff in the suitcase. So a lot of my go-to brushes are in there. I'm going to make it work with just the brushes I have right now. And now that I already have the highlight on, I'm just going to lightly add a little more. And I'm now going to apply the MAC Refined Golden Bronzer onto pretty much just uh, my cheekbones. Just kind of right here. I want them to look a little more hollow. I feel like this is good. We're just gonna targeting the areas that you need. And then again to the outskirts of my face. Just a tad bit. Ah, I put too much on. Shoot. 
shoot i need class today guys i'm taking in my handy dandy shading brush from dose to colors which is my absolute favorite nose contouring brush and the benefit hula bronzer as well i'm not going too crazy today on it because it's not really going to show up but i do need to get in a little bit so again you guys know the drill just down the sides and then on the tip that little ball effect right there so for my eyes, it's going to be a very, very subtle look because there's not a lot of attention to it. So I'm going to be taking in the Urban Decay's Ultimate Naked Basic... Mm. Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette, which is obviously um, just their very, very simple shades, but they are all matte, which is going to be great for this look. I don't want a lot of attention to my eyes. I want them to be very, very basic. So I guess it works with the with this. Any flat brush will work great for this, just nothing fluffy when you want to define the eye out a little bit. So I'm going to go in now with the color Blow and apply this directly to my lid. So now I'm taking in the Morphe Blending Brush. This is M513 and the color Faith, which is, oh, Faith, right there, which is a more like a natural kind of bone color. It kind of looks like a bronzer. And I'm going right in the middle to the front all the way to the outer part. So now we're on to the fun part, which is going to be the liner. Make sure that you have a really good brush for this and a really good liner. I do not recommend any kind of pencil or liquid liners or pins. I highly recommend that you do this with either body paint or some type of gel liner that is really smooth and easy to apply. If it's not a very good one, what's going to happen is it's going to be patchy and it's going to look streaky. So you really want to make this crisp and clean. As far as the brushes go, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Detailed Concealer Brush. I'm going to go in and outline my entire face starting off on the forehead and going down I'm going to really shower when I'm done with this yeah. oh my god oh fuck <laughs> I'm going to blow up so now for the chin I'm going to define it and round it out So to get that real robotic face, I'm going to add like this kind of circle-ish rectangle kind of um, object to my face so it looks like my face is just kind of screwed on to my head, if that makes any sense. I've come to realize that instead of dragging it into that straight line, try working sections at a time and working your way from the outer part to the inner part of the face. So now I'm going to go ahead and add another line down the side and the rest of the look. And instead of going straight down like a box, I'm going to slant it a little bit. <sighs> Keep holding my breath when doing this. I can't even talk. All right. So as like I said, if you guys aren't getting a straight line while doing this or if it's not coming out the way you want it to, don't be discouraged. It's, so there's always ways to fix it in case stuff like that happens. So now with the same brush, I'm going to wipe it down because there was a lot of product already on it. Apply a little bit on there and then use the back of my hand as a spatula because I want to make sure there's not that much product on top of the brush. And I'm going to draw um, a line in between my eyes. And I'm now just going to move that all up to the forehead. I feel like I have so much horizontalness going on that I need that like break in between. So I'm going to actually go with the same brush and then attach that to there and then whip my way up. And now I'm just going to do the same thing, add some vertical lines to the sides. I'm going to be taking in the NYX White Liquid Liner to kind of just outline and define some of the areas and give it a little more dimension. Think of this like you're highlighting now. You're going to highlight those areas. Hello? Hi, good, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good question for you. Is Sebastian's uh, BMW parked down here? Yes. Yes, it is. It, it's, uh, it, has, it has no BMW um, logo on the back, right? Yes. Okay, can we ask that he moves it? Yes, he'll do that right now. now. Because we, it's been there for a day and a half, and the tow truck is literally coming. I'm happy that. Okay, I'll, I'll let him know right now. <laughs> Thank you, love. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. 
and just kind of continue adding lines wherever you feel you want them at. I like to clean off the brush also before I apply it so it creates more of like a whisk line. Otherwise, if I use it directly from the container, it's going to be very liquidy when it comes out. So just kind of roll it off. Use whatever is just on the brush and do light stroke motions. From there, I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Flat Defining Brush. And with nothing on that, absolutely nothing on that, I'm just going to uh, blend it out and just kind of mix it all together. Now to add a little bit of like these bullets on my face, I'm using the Razor Sharp Liner in the color Cuff, which is this awesome gunmetal kind of silver. And with the back of the Urban Decay Again brush, I'm gonna dip the brush in there so I can have like the perfect dot. I'm just now gonna add two dots right here. And like I said, I'm not worried about the outside of my face because I am going to have a wig on. I'm going to move back into my eyes and apply the Tardius Double Take Eyeliner. I'm going to create a liner to kind of just bring up the eyes and make this a little more girlier again. So I'm pretty much just going to start right at the middle of my eye. And then again, just going to now press and connect. Going a little more downward. And I'm just going to connect it all. So I'm going to do a line underneath my eyes, but instead of doing it directly, um, connected I'm going to kind of do choppy areas in it so starting off right here just stopping right there begin to the root for the lash and then stopping right about there and then again however now I'm just going to go in and slant it up a little bit going back in again with the NYX white liquid liner to create those little choppy marks in between. It's time to top off my eyes. So we're going to go in first with some mascara, some lashes, and then some contact lenses, and then going back to the lips. Going in with Maybelline Colossal Spider Effect Mascara to create a very, very spidery effect. Going right at the root and hugging up. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes in the Lash NYC. So swapping up my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Solitica contacts. These are super beautiful. I ordered these originally for my look, for the Cleopatra look. However, they didn't come on time. So I just got them in and I found out about this brand through my friend Kristen Dominique, which is also a huge YouTuber. And her eyes look amazing when she wears them all the time. So I was like, I need to get some of these. These are in the color Hydrocore Crystal, which are like a, you guys, it looks like almost clear, but it's literally like a light green and light blue together. Uh, what I like about it is that it doesn't leave any kind of rays through my eye. It makes them look like it's the true color. In pictures, it looks so real. So I did really like these. So let me just pop these in. I'm going to do this off camera because I'm not a little crazy. Damn, girl. Look how real these contacts look. I feel like I can wear these all the time and pretend that they're my. So going back into lips, I'm going to top them off again with the Tardius Double Take Liner. However, I'm going to be using now the pencil side of it. It's retractable. And I did this because I was going to try to find a lipstick, but I don't have a legit really, really good black one. I always tend to use just eyeliners because they last better, they look better, and I feel like it does the same thing. So... I'm going to go back in with the NYX liquid white liner and apply a couple lines just around my lip area. And that completes the final look for this robotic futuristic slash doll makeup. If you're looking for a last minute costume, it requires literally just like a quick bodysuit too. So I hope you guys loved and enjoyed this video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys next week.